The worst forms of magnesium. Look, there's a lot of debate on the best form of magnesium out there, and you might even be confused. You might think you need to take all different types of magnesium to get all the different benefits. Well, look, there's a lot of different types of magnesium. They have different functions, but magnesium stays the same. And what you want to find in the point of this video is to avoid the ones that have poor absorption and to find a magnesium type or form that has good absorption and stick with it. So the three uh, least absorbed forms of magnesium are in the insoluble um, inorganic category. And those are oxides, hydroxides, and carbonates. Magnesium oxide is the cheapest of the cheap. It is used in a lot of studies because it's readily available. And in fact, a lot of neurologists and, and doctors will sometimes rec recommend magnesium oxide because that is the one that they've used in the studies. But more and more studies need to come out. But right now, we have to rely on the studies that we have at hand, which have shown magnesium oxide to be a benefit. How does that happen? Well, because magnesium is awesome, and sometimes it does get a benefit even though it has poor absorption. But magnesium oxide has a very, um, very poor bond. It'll quickly disassociate in the gut. Sometimes people will use it for use as a natural laxative. So if you need that, you could do that. But I actually like magnesium citrate better more for constipation but oxide does have some of those properties as well hydroxide has been used a lot for being an anti-acid um, but it, again it's kind of just got another water molecule stacked onto it doesn't have very good absorption magnesium carbonate this is the one they actually use in chalk rock climbers who put chalk on their hands to stay dry they might actually be using magnesium carbonate when you use magnesium carbonate as a powder usually you'll see that it has a chalky texture because it's not very soluble. Magnesium glycine actually has a very good solubility, so you don't actually get that chalky flavor. So magnesium carbonate does have a weak bond. It'll disassociate. Some people say it'll bind to other things in the ingredients like citric acid. We don't know if that actually happens or if it does happen. It just shows you how poor the bond that magnesium carbonate is. So again, those three forms you kind of want to avoid. Those are the cheaper ones. Magnesium in general is not that expensive, um, especially if you're looking like a malate and glycinate. Three and eight can be uh, more on the pricier side because of the more of the brain cognition uh, side of things. But magnesium in general is not that expensive, so definitely find a form that has better absorption. And I guess for those watching and listening, those would be um, no specific order, but magnesium bisglycinate, magnesium malate, magnesium taurate, uh, magnesium orotate, uh, magnesium chloride is uh, commonly used on a topical application. Magnesium sulfate, um, this one is not a very well-absorbed form orally. It does have some, some benefits for more of like an Epsom salt bath. So if you have poor uh, gut absorption, you might consider just doing some Epsom salt baths, maybe some topical applications. But for most people, they're going to want to use one of the forms that are higher absorbed. Now, mag magnesium malthurinate is another one. It is a great blend, a great form, but it does have a low elemental value of magnesium. So if you're taking that one, make sure you're actually getting enough magnesium. I have found that people have who take magnesium um, l 3 8 they also need to take other forms in order to get their magnesium status up. So I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully we can focus on taking a better form of magnesium that has better solubility, better absorption, so we can get the benefits that we desire. I'm Dr. Robert Fredrickson. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, be sure to share this with a friend who might need it. Friends don't let friends buy cheap magnesium. And also be sure to follow my channel and follow me on social media. And if you're still wondering about how to stay in magnesium balance for life, because it is critical, guys. If we can't stay magnesium balance, there, we're leaving a lot of health benefits on the table. And if we're looking for a health of longevity and wellness, I wrote the book Magnesium Answers to do just that. It's more than just the forms of magnesium, although it mentions that. It also goes over the foods we eat, things that deplete us of magnesium, and just goes over the vital importance of magnesium to really drive home that 50 to 75% of people are deficient in this precious mineral, and we do not get enough in our diets. We are stressed beyond belief, which also depletes magnesium. And all these factors contribute to a population that is majority is that deficiency. So we need, to, we need to do better. My book aims to do that, aims to educate. So you can find it on Amazon um, under Magnesium Answers book. Um, again, I'm Dr. Robert Fredersen. Thank you again for tuning in.